some are close to the mountains, but all have been chosen with the same purpose in mind. By proving himself in small boats and in other testing circumstances, the individual, like the tide itself, rises to his full height. He soon catches the reflection of himself, both as he is and as he might be. Each boy is encouraged to set his sights as high as his own personal capacity allows. In the short space of four weeks at an outward bound school, a young person is given the maximum opportunity for developing his whole self. The course begins gradually. As the pace quickens, so each boy's performance improves to the point where he produces his best, which in most cases exceeds his expectations. This film illustrates the reactions of young people to the forces of outward bound. It is for the viewer to form his own conclusions, remembering that the film is not a day-to-day -day can outward bound course. Here we go again. I wonder what my lads will be like this time. I don't stand a chance against him. He'll be much better than me. I don't think much of this place, old boy. Huh. Toffee, this twit. And so whatever else you do, don't worry. Soon you'll be choosing your patrol captain. If you're disappointed yourself, forget it and back up the man elected. He may need it. Finally, I want you to look on this course not as something to be endured passively, but as an opportunity to do things. It's your course, not ours. And success is measured in terms of how hard you try, not how many people you beat. You have a month's demanding work before you, and you've got to get on with new friends. So make the most of it. There's now an IQ test, and then you'll sign the register. This is kid stuff. I've nothing to worry about. Soon belt it off. Oh, I can't see the point of this. But the warden said, we're here to do our best. Oh well, here goes. No turning back to. Better make the best of it. I don't know, like. It's all writing. Where's the action? Jim, isn't it? Yep, that's it. Ah, uh, yes. I think I know all your names now. This is going to be a good patrol. And we start today with a good shakedown. Or up. Do a fruit in that case. Come on, lads, hurry up. He's just as scared as I am. I'll jump first, and you follow. Well done, John. The activities of Outward Bound give real purpose to training in first aid.
You must always plan your route allowing a time factor for bad weather conditions. Bear in mind a route which will allow you to reach safety in the event of sudden adverse weather. Plan for the weakest member of the party. Later in the course when you're alone, the ability to read a map may save your life. Right then, draw your routes from Scarfell to Escors. Let's get this right now. Three miles an hour and allow one hour for every 1,500 feet of climb. It looks easier to follow the stream. I know all this. I've done it before. 99 change hands. I don't care if I don't go blind. I think I'll take a breather. Hmm. I'll lay ten to one, Jones has stopped. Pull your way out you. Get stopped! Ashton, here's a bucket of nitroglycerine and a rope. You've got to get it and your patrol across this water ditch. Keep it tight, you fool. Draw it in slowly. Through fitness training, the boys are made confident and fit enough to take full advantage of the course. Push it further up. Don't touch the fence. Hurry up, keep it going. Jameson's doing very well. He took charge and helped Richards to get a grip on himself. He'd be my choice for patrol leader. I wonder if the boys will elect him. And so whatever else you do, don't worry. Soon, you'll be choosing your patrol captain. Now, if you're disappointed yourself, forget it and back up the man elected. He may need it. One way of developing self-assurance is by speaking in public. And for some, this is quite an ordeal. Long to South Tun tomorrow. Friends! Romans! At first, it's difficult to prevent the past from intruding on the present, particularly during their brief moments of leisure. Homesickness can be keenly felt, and to overcome it is a real mental challenge. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, sir. How's your foot now, Ken? Oh, it's nearly healed. Sir, will you take us over the wall? Jim thinks he's got a new way of going over for the competition. Hmm, when we get a free period. But listen, next week is the first expedition, so get stuck into your PT and enjoy yourselves. You, uh, you're joking. By the way, um, any complaints? Could we have chips sometimes? Make it more like home? <laughs> right, plenty of vinegar. Now look. Look after them. Right, lads. Lights out. See you in the morning. Oh, my aching ah. Get those blades far off. Wish that blasted instructor would belt up. Hell, if they could see this at Cow's Week. Let go aft. Let go forward. Bear off port. They'll soon catch on. It doesn't take them long. Hope the weather holds. The glass was dropping. It's time the captain had a row. 
He's always hogging the chiller. Je dois regarder le garçon devant moi pour être en même temps. Oh, for an outward motor. Now, this particular rope is right hand laid. The twist goes in the same direction as a screw thread. So you always coil it down in a clockwise direction. Here's a Berlin. It's easy once you get this twist right. With the lay. But that doesn't look right. Ah, that's it. I think. Why the hell didn't I go to a mountain school? Cool. Don't I wish I'd gone to a sea school? I wasn't much for that, but wow, what a view. What a mess. Still, it'll be much better next time. Take the stretch away now. Don't want to go through that again. That was dangerous. Oh, skin me back too. Handy thing to know, though. It were murder up there, but I kept the lads together. I can never thank you enough for saving my life. Think nothing of it. You get used to it after a while. Oh, my uncle. Once again then, lads, lean right forward and place your hands on the side of the canoe. And when you're over, let me see you tap three times. Place your hands behind you and then do a forward roll out. Off you go. Here you go, stop the Hell, I'm drowning! God, they're not gonna help me. There you are. Fight it. Fight it. Cool. 
What's he think I am? A duck? Hmm. Can't let young John tail off like this. Not at the start of the three-day mountain scheme. I think I'll put him in front. Today's reading is from a letter written by Conrad Gessner in 1541. I shall every year climb a few mountains, or at any rate one, so that I can examine them and combine a grand exercise of the body with enjoyment of the mind. Men dull in mind find no cause for wonder anywhere. They sit idly at home instead of going to see what is on view in the great theatre of the world. But those who are athirst for wisdom will not cease to examine with every faculty of mind and body the splendors of this earthly paradise. Let us pray. Almighty God. Oh God, help me to go on. Come on, hurry up. We're on duty in a minute. And new experiences. Mmm, strong stuff this. Generously of ourselves during this course. And may we never be so engrossed in our own efforts as not to have time for our companions. Amen. Just think, mate. My mum does this every day of her life. It's as good as told woman can do. I don't know how she gets through it all. Oh, this is a really mess. It'll soon give me a blister. The 24-hour solo scheme is just what Bill needs. He'll enjoy being on his own for a change. I'm on my own. It's all mine. Open. Good. It'll be fine. Out here, the wonders of nature begin to mean something.
This looks a good spot. I bet there's some fish in there. Fantastic, this course. That's it. Fantastic. I've got company. Wish it were my bird. Fish and six three times coming up. You call this stuff food. Oh, and by the way, when you get to 176003, make a sketch of what you see there. Fuck, this looks good. I think it'll go well in my log book. So much for shortcuts. I'm gonna miss me dinner. Throughout a course, each boy is considered as an individual, and at frequent staff meetings, the instructors exchange impressions and draw conclusions. The action they take is specially designed to meet the individual's need. In each situation, the boy must be encouraged to give his utmost, and each boy comes to realize this. A word of encouragement, or perhaps caution, might be the answer. Occasionally the warden has to step in and talk to the boy privately. And sometimes the truth hurts. First my father told me, then the headmaster, now here. And they've nothing to gain. I did it before, I can do it again. It's a cinch. Can't think what went wrong before. Stand by, Mainsail. Mind that yard. Hold on to the leech. Check main sheet. Well. Wonder if the forecast is right. Looks nasty over there. I think we'd better head back now. It'd be foolish to stay out much longer.
Right, come on, lads. Keep the pace going. Well done. Over you go. So how long was it, sir? One minute fifteen, exactly. Well done, Mike. A very good effort. The climax of the course is the final expedition. Into this three-day effort is concentrated all those elements that can draw out the character in every boy. As the route is considered, the instructor emphasizes the need to plan for the group, with the weakest as well as the strongest in mind. Everyone has something to contribute. If Bob's to get round the scheme, we can't load him up too much. Hey, Stu, would you mind carrying this for a bit? Look sharp there. The whole course is out on the final scheme. What was it my mum said? Whatever you do, don't get your feet wet, dear. The final expedition is planned to extend the boy in every aspect of the training on both land and water. I never thought it would be glad to be back. Well, I'm going for a kip and a shower. Only one more day to go. It's good to see you back, lads. After you've had your shower, there'll be a hot drink in the library. I want to hear how that final scheme went. And now, they relive the experiences of the final scheme. And I said to myself, fight it, fight it. <laughs> You should have seen Mike. He never gave in at all. It was incredible to see a bloke go on like that. All right, what happened next? Well, we did just what we planned. And believe it or not, all that map reading stuff finally got us there. And I'll tell you what, sir, we drove ourselves harder yesterday than any instructor could have got us to go. It wasn't so bad that time. I was only sick once. That's much better, Nick. Ta-da, mate. See you at the Ritz. Yes, indeed. Don't forget to write now. Of course I'll write, mate. Outward Bound is an experience, the value of which cannot always be measured. Nevertheless, where local Outward Bound associations exist and encourage follow-up activities, the response is excellent. These youngsters have tasted the meaning of teamwork. They know the strength and success that comes from cooperation. Now, in their home surroundings, they have the confidence and the ability to contribute as members of a team. They remember how they were sustained in their own need and appreciate better the needs of others. 
calls for a helping hand are recognized and aid is gladly given. For them, compassion is the fruit of experience. Here it is applied in an act of public service. The awareness and the aptitude for it came from outward bound. He has discovered the satisfaction of giving, not for material reward, but because there was a need to fill and he could fill it. As long as there is a need to help young people to know themselves, there is a reason for outward bound.